This is Acts 7 and verse 51. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right, so we're going to go into this, man. I got this video, you know, uh, uh, from the brother, uh, what was his name? Rari. Uh, I forget what his name is, Salaki, if I get it wrong. You know, I don't want to butcher your name. As I do sometimes. But this guy right here, man, Amari Stottlemyre, uh, he was a, a, a basketball player, you know, he, a, a, you know, pretty famous basketball player, played for some some good teams. This and that, blah, 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 blah. What, little, just listen to this garbage. Let's play it. And this morning was some disturbing news out of Israel that Hamas kidnapping children, putting them in cages, killing women, killing the elderly. That's some coward shit. Now hold on now. <laughs> you he, he talking about unaliving the women and the elderly and the children. Uh, look at the things that happened to the to the real children of Israel. The actual, you know, 12 tribes of Israel, man. Not just B uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay? These people are fake. And, and this guy right here, man, he is, I don't know how much they paid him for this garbage. But, you know, you how about Shimei Al-Shah is going to kill nin nin ninjas like this, man? You see, my phone had to try. He's because he's going way the hell off. Now, I believe this dude, uh, you know, can, uh, said he, he has converted uh, or, uh, to a, or to be an orthodox small hatter. OK, we'll get to it. Let's keep going. That's cowardly. And for all y'all Black Lives Matter who ain't saying nothing. Well, let me figure out exactly what happened before I say anything. Fuck you. Man, screw you. What the hell is BLM is ran by a bunch of Edomites? Same, same Edomites, uh, same Edomites as the one ones over there with that, you know, fake thing going on right now, man. It's the same people. Figure out what? It ain't never been cool to kidnap kids and put them in cages. It ain't never been cool to kill women and, and elderly. Never. See, you know, I got, I mean, I got to stop them again and say this. Man, they had us in cages. They had us in zoos. They are feeding our children to alligators, amongst other things. Cutting uh, uh, Jake's rod off. Uh, uh, made them, uh, that, that's where that, uh, that uh, the, the word, uh, the, the MFR, you know, you know the word. That's where that comes from, man. They, uh, they, they would make a son to uh, uh, copulate with his, with his, uh, uh, with his mother. All kinds of uh, 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 hanging us, all kinds of different things, cutting out babies, stomping out the babies. That's where soccer comes from. You know, come to find out, you know, uh, what, what is that? Uh, hush puppies. OK, hush puppies came from uh, when, a, uh, when, a, when a slave, you know, hey, Jake was up, which was us. OK, you got to receive that reincarnation. Anyway, when, when Jake. Was uh well, you know was running trying to get away from from Esau Edom the devil the Bible speaks of while uh, you know while we we yet this day in our captivity anyway in slavery he would take uh, uh corn uh, corn meal and, and mix it with uh flour and he would he would and he would uh, he would cook it with uh with oil okay and as he was running running away from the dogs because you know they sick the dogs on us right and then it, they still do it anyway. When Jake was running away from the dogs, he would he would cook up he would cook up the uh, you know the the flour and and the corn and all that and the oil, and throw them at the puppies and say hush puppy. That's where the word hush puppy comes from. All these little all these different things and things that we uh, they, how about Shimei Shai hasn't even told us about yet. Even it's written in Obadiah. Let's continue going, man. This guy right here, man. Being no matter where you from, what you represent, what tribe you for, don't matter. I ain't never been no. What tribe you from? What do you mean? Well, what tribe you from? You got man. Come on, man. You can, it's clearly he's clearly paid off. You know all kinds of picnics. You know, pick a nigga and hang him. Bonfires. See, bond men and bond women. They would burn us. Come on, man. Ooh, they ain't never been none that nobody supported. And then you go and hide 
and put the kids in front of you as a barricade. That's some coward shit. All you politicians who always have something to say on the contrary, I see you, fuck you. All you Black Lives Matter people who always have something to say and always support everything else and you quiet now, fuck you too. <laughs> Only place in the world where I can go and study Torah and eat kosher food. Only place. Only place where he can go and study Torah and have kosher food. It's, it's, it's just the Bible. Here it is. We out there on the highways and byways doing uh, uh, daily epistles, sometimes two and three a day or whatever, feeding the sheep. And you talking about that's the only place you can uh, go to learn the Torah. Man, you learn it from the enemy, man. That's your enemy. Those small hatters. Go eat kosher. Let's go here. Kosher. Oh, yeah, I pulled this up. I pulled this up last night because I was going to do it last night. Uh-oh, Salakia. I don't understand what, what just happened there. Uh, let's go back. That was strange. Anyway, here we go. Uh, the times of Israel, okay? Which Israel is a people before it's a place, man. This ninja, uh, demanding the impossible. Israel says pork can only be imported if it's kosher. Did you hear that? And he is talking about only place I can go and eat, uh, uh, and eat, and eat kosher. Man, it's, it's, it's in the Bible. This, these are our laws. But right here it says, only if pork is kosher. Then how can pork be kosher? When you how about Shimei Shai told you not to eat it, it's unclean to you. This, 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 this dude is absolutely mad out of his mind. Look, 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 look. Like a mire in the street, like a pigsty. It, 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 uh, the, uh, the pork, uh, uh, the swine does not chew the cud, man. My goodness. Netanyahu, caretaker, uh, caretaker, you know, he's a devil. Government quietly changes regulations to bar entry of uh, pig products into the company, though domestic uh, product remains intact. Did you hear that? What domestic pot product remains intact? That is uh, abominable foods, man. You're not supposed to eat that. But we all been, we all, all of us are getting desensitized. Food and trick. It's all a snare and a trap. And then you got this guy, man. This guy. My goodness. It's in the world. Some coward shit, dog. And all y'all support it. Fuck you. Yeah, whatever, Jake. You full of shit, man. Jake is full of shit. Let's read it again. Acts 7 of verse kosher pork. You gotta be kidding. And, it, and these are the people of the Lord. Are you high about shit? Shot? I don't think so. I don't fit none of them damn curses anyway. We, and everybody knows, everybody's starting to see. The son of perdition is being revealed daily, man. Even this low down, stupid American Edomites starting to see and understand. Acts 7 and verse 51. You stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, you do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. So everybody's back in their lot. You see? The mystery of iniquity doth already work. It's right here in the scriptures. Everybody's back in their lot. You know, if you was a Judas goat, then you a Judas goat now. You know, if you were a, a, a house of Saul or, or or whatever, that's you. We the same. We we are the same people. Everybody coming back. Whether you was a prophet, a teacher, or whatever, it's all. It is what it is. You know, Yahabashim Yahusha said, "Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you." Right? You see that? You know, when I saw that, it pissed me off. It really did. But that's all right, man. That's a necessary evil. You understand? All right. For the mystery of 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he now will, who letteth will let. And he's let the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He's let these people be the hammer of the earth over his over the Israelites, over his children, the ones he loves, the ones he's chastising. Why? Because we didn't listen. It's written in the curses. All you got to do is go to the curses and you can clearly see that these people are, are, are uh, 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 imposters, man. Until he be what? Taken out of the way. And he's getting ready to be taken out of the way. Uh, Babylon circling the drain. The third woe is coming quickly. Go to your pastor. Yo, yo, go to your black, black pastor. P pastor Porkchop. <laughs> Ain't that something? Go to him and ask him, you know, uh, uh, what, what's, the, uh, what's the end days looking like? Who's going to be ruling? Go ask him certain questions. He's not going to be able to answer it. He doesn't understand. You know, these people are crazy, man.
Amari Stoudemire talking talk about he's a convert. Proverbs 14 and verse 15. And, 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 and a whole lot of people will listen and say, you know what? He's right, man. You know, those, those people, they've been, they been going through shit. They getting ready to, though. Proverbs 14 and verse 15. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua. Because our weapons of warfare are not carnal. Till that new Jerusalem come down. Isaiah 14 and verse 2. What, what, did, it, what did that say? It said the, it said the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come back and set his people in their land. Not some Balfour declaration. Only place I can go to learn Torah. You learn it, you learn it from the enemy, man. You talk, you're being taught by the precepts of man, brother. You know, hey, but, hey, he's, but the, again, it's a necessary evil. Proverbs 14, verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. See? Look at well to his going, man, and ponder if his ways. Examine himself. I mean, I could almost guarantee you that cat knows exactly what's going on. He just sold out. He's, he, he has no faith. He's, he's been done sold out. And all them damn, all that bread and circus is a, is a bunch of, uh, 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 what you call it? It's all scripted any damn way. All of it. It's all scripted. That's what, exactly what it is. It's bread and circus. This is Rome 2.0, man. Revised Roman Empire. And, and everybody sees it. It's just that they won't listen. It's a, he's a damn hireling. John 10 and verse 12. Okay? Red letters, you have a shy speaking. But he that is a hiring and not the shepherd whose own, Salakia, whose own the sheep are not. See if the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth and the wolf catches them and scatter the sheep. See that? He's, he, he's, he's just a hireling, man. A nobody, a two-third dumbass nigga, man, that has sold out to Esau Edom, the so-called white man, and that's the truth. And Amalek, and he's the one that runs. He's the one that runs all these damn entertainment industries anyway. The bread and circus, man. It's clear to see it. It's really easy to see it. Let's go on down here. Yep, we look up that word orthodox right here in a second. Zadaka Ram, Shalom, brother. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, HBO. HBO shows Stottlemyre's journey from the NBA to Orthodox Judaism, which that is Judaism is a religion, it, it, a false one at that. You, you already know that. Orthodox. Well, let's look up that word Orthodox. Man, this dude, look at it. He's, he's finished. He's through. That guy's finished, man. That guy's finished, man. Straight up. Okay. With a phallic going towards his mouth. Orth Orthodox. 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 All right, a person or their or their views, especially religious or political ones, okay? Or other beliefs or practices. So, you know, basically that says anybody can be an orth you can be an orthodox witch. You know, you can be a, a, a orthodox coon. Let's keep going. Oh man, conforming to what is generally or traditionally accepted as right or true and in this world it is accepted it is accepted that those small hatters are the people of the lord but it's not true you see that's why some of these definitions go off a little bit but it's not true you can accept uh, 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 yeah lgbc 3 po's accepted every damn where does that make it true does that make it uh, 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 righteous absolutely not Oh boy, established and approved. Approved by who? Esau, Edom, the one who's been given the earth, the, of the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven. Amalek, right? Come on, man. You see, let's, let's keep going down here. Of a person, now this is an orthodox definition right here. All right, not independent minded, woo. Conventional and uh, unoriginal. Wow, that's interesting. You see, two of a thing. Uh, of the ordinary or unusual type, normal. Of what? Small hatters, uh, uh, 1948 or people, or Judaism, strictly keeping to the traditional, to traditional doctrine and ritual. Okay? So, yeah, to them, it's, it's, it's a traditional doctrine. To what? The covet fields and take them by violence. All those things that he was talking about, man, that's, you know, uh, that's some, that's some, what, yo, screw you, man. That's some wussy stuff right there. That's some wussy stuff. But Esau Edom's been doing this. Look, look at you. Look. Esau Edom has been doing this. He's not a keeper at home. His desire is hell. Come on, man. 
This dude's out of his freaking mind. He done lost his mind. He don't, I, don't, I think I did a video on that once before. This is complete conversion. How you gonna convert to something you already are? Look, he's too. With a mask on. Here, look, that's gonna be my thumbnail. That's gonna be my thumb. Uh, sitting behind all them books. Former NBA announced his two year, two year journey to becoming somebody you already are. Man, that's this is madness, man. But then they're gonna pull that anti uh uh, you know, card. You already know what it is. Hell, we can't even say it. Ain't that some bullshit? Can't stand this place, man. Shalak Ram to all you. The judgment must start at the house of Israel. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. You see that? Which shall what? Burn forever forever and, and serve what serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not now hold on now hold on now the scripture said we we shall discontinue from our heritage but they claim that they've always known who they are they don't fit none of these damn curses none of the prophecies zero okay well i mean you know salakia i got that wrong let's get i'm gonna go back on that because they do fit some prophecies the prophecy of, of them being completely destroyed you know, put in slavery and chains for a thousand years and then done away with. Here, right here, it says J E U U U's, slave in the slave trade. Let's read about this just a little bit right here. Mm -mm -mm. J E U U U's, small headers, slaves, uh, slaves and the slave trade, uh, setting the record straight. Let's see what this says. In 1998, book of uh, a book by Eli Faber is focused on ish. Involvement in the American slave trade. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on now. You, uh, you mean to tell me these people own uh, the good ship Jeebus? These people owned all them ships? Well, this doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go and read. Let's go and read the, uh, the, the Torah. Uh, that's only but I can go read the Torah and understand what the Torah. Uh, let's just get to the point. Let's get to the point. So they had a hand in this, but this, but they weren't in, but they weren't uh, 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 victims of this, right? So who the hell are these people? You got it, it's easy. Put two and two together, it makes four, not five, not three, not one, not not ten. My goodness, Deuteronomy twenty-eight verse sixty-eight, and the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt is what synonymous with bondage. We are yet to stay in our captivity. This place, U.S. of A, is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Okay? Bondage. We, uh, again, with ships. What? With ships. Who owned the good ship? Jesus. Who owned that? Small hatters. Come on, man. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. We all know what that scripture is talking about. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's go back here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, that's spiritual. Let's see. Ship. There we go. <clears throat> All right. The good ship. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what this says right here. The good ship Jebus. The first slave ship used to enslave See, it says Africans, but we're not Africans, we Israelites. I just read about it. Africans, it says Africans, was named, there it go right there, and look, what do you see? Fake white man Jebus, right? And that was also used. That was also used while also our Lord was crucified, right? As is written in Revelation, right? You see that? One of the most popular church songs during 10 years, during 10, uh, teen years, it's like teen years, had these lyrics. Jebus, Jebus, Jebus. There's just something about that name. It isn't, isn't there something about that name? It's false. It's false. This is, this is an interesting little article right here. I had to read it in my own time. Let's see. Let's see. Jeebus loving kindness. Justice. Well, hey, justice. You, we all know what justice is. We might read it here in uh, uh, Obadiah right here in a second, right? If it be Yahabashim Yahashah's will. Gentleness. He, uh, he's a man of war. 
An austere man. See, these people are crazy as hell. Lullaby your ass back to sleep. Oh, boy. Let's see. Uh, hu humility. Yeah, he had a whole lot of humility. All right. All right. There are the words that come to my mind when I think of Jesus. That's see that. You know, not even not even that. Let's go back here. I looked up Orthodox. Let's type it in. You also think about this right here. See, that's what you think about. That's what you think about. But when you type in Yahweh Shai, you get, you know, the true depiction of what. Salakia. So let's go back. That's what you think of. It's fake ass. Can't stand these damn people, man. Here we go. Um, yep, I was right there at Obadiah. Obadiah, what is this talking about? Obadiah, uh, one, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. In what? In battle. He said he'd go have war with Amalek from generation to generation. You know, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee. The eagle, all that. Let's jump on down here. Let's jump on down here. Verse 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion, what? Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Uh-oh. The what? House of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of jo uh, Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. See that? They should have not done these things. They shouldn't have done these things. But now they threw. Now they finished. There's something else I, I wanted to get here. Let's jump on back up here. There we go. Yep. Romans 11 and verse one. This is beautiful. I say, then have the most I cast away his people. Mm -mm. It said, it said, God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. You see, but what do they call themselves? Israelis, the state of Israel ish. What does ish mean? Pertain of two or like want to want to want to be right. You want to be right. Let's go here. Second Corinthians 11 verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. And there's more than just one Hebrews. I, the Hebrews. If you are, you a Hebrew man? As a, a Edomite, uh, Esau's a damn Hebrew. Ishmael. Come on, man. Come up on some kind of way, man. Goodness gracious. You, 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 uh, two thirds Israelites, man. That's, that's why you got to go, man. Oh boy. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Okay. It's right there in the scriptures, man. Let's jump on down here. Read this last one and I'll quit it. You know, hopefully this was edifying. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Showing that our people are full of, they're full of crap, man. They are full of crap. They wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. That's what the scripture said. The ox knoweth its owner, uh, uh, and, his, and the ass is master's crib. But Israel, Israel doth not consider. They don't even consider. But they'll listen to a uh, 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 Stottlemyre. See, Stottle, Stottlemyre. They'll listen to this garbage. This guy, man. Sometimes, man, I, I, you know, I feel like laying hands on people, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, but we, you know. But we, 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 we know better. I feel like it sometimes. Psalms 137, verse 7. Mm -mm -mm. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. And you see, I'm I just a, a brief example of some of the things that these devils have done to us, northern and southern kingdom. So-called blacks, Latinos, Native, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled bird. It's called a slave trade for a reason. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones, man. 
Okay? So, it, hey, it's almost payback time. You know, it's almost payback time. But guys like this, and he, you're going to get left here and melt and destroyed, man. You're going to eat a missile, Amari. Giving our praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learned from every damn day. Every day. There's not a there's not a waking, there's not a waking moment where the men at Great Millstone and the and the, the men of Valerie and, and uh the you know affiliate camps are not putting out lessons throughout throughout the four corners of the earth to save your life, to try to help you. But first and foremost, seeking out their own salvation with fear and trembling. Shalom to all you brothers, man. That are, that are doing this thing sincerely. All right? Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwam Yasharala. Wa a Bible ball. Boom! Shalom.